everybody, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2. We're back building. Uh, we're working on what I'm calling Magic Mountain. If you got a better name for it, please let me know because that name's like really cringy and horrible. Uh, but this is probably the best thing that I've ever built in Zoo Tycoon 2. Uh, I'm just calling it that because it's true. This is like beyond what I ever thought was possible in this game. Uh, and that's what's kind of making me excited about making it because I really think it looks uh, pretty cool and kind of nice. So why are we doing a, uh, another Zoo Tycoon video this week? You're probably wondering that uh, if you are big followers of the channel, you would know that I really have only been doing Zoo Tycoons once a week on Sundays, uh, but I want to get a lot of progress made on this zoo. And you know, we are nearing the end of the series. So I wanted to kind of, you know, go out with a bang upload a bunch of videos of the zoo and uh, get going with some new stuff on the channel because that's really, uh, you know, variety is the spice of life, I guess is what I want to say here. So let's talk a little bit. What are we doing today? Well, we're working on Magic Mountain, so to speak. Uh, up here in the fields, I work for my meals. I put my back into my living. Uh, but up here on top of the mountain, we are working to put in a tiny food court uh, since people are going to be going up and down the mountain, uh, there definitely needs to be some bathrooms and some food up here because people are going to get really hungry and then have to walk like way away. Uh, so I figured this is a good enough place to do that is just add a food court on top of here. And then it also allows us to put in another exhibit on top of the mountain, which then makes the mountain, uh, a little bit more useful, I guess is the word that I want to use since before we only had two exhibits going in there. Uh, and while that's still, you know, pretty good to have two exhibits, having three just makes the whole making of the mountain seem a lot more, like, reasonable, I guess, is the word I want to use. So, we are going to have three exhibits. We did talk a little bit. We're going to have a bird in the one, bears in the one, and then on top of the mountain, I was thinking either, like, a ram or an ibex. I think an ibex is a ram, but I don't know. Some kind of mountain goat type thing. Uh, just because we are at the very top of the mountain. I think it'd be kind of a cool scenery type thing to have a mountain goat kind of thing on top of the mountain. So we'll put those in in a following episode coming up. We still have some work to do uh, here. So we have time to fill the exhibits and get that going. But that's going to go right there. Now, uh, we are going to work a little bit on what's behind the mountain today. Not putting in exhibits really, but just getting the kind of layout so i wanted to stick with the theme that we've originally had in this place which is the connecting rivers everywhere uh which are then connected by waterfalls and stuff along those lines and i wanted to talk a little bit about that real quick because it makes for an interesting uh concept with the zoo that i haven't really thought about and that's an actual name for it we have not thought of a name for the zoo uh and that's where i kind of want you guys to give me some suggestions is what should i name this place because right now the save file is literally just called definitely the YouTube zoo to remind myself that this is the YouTube zoo. Uh, but that is like definitely not a good name for the zoo. We can be honest with that. So I want a name for it. I was thinking something along the lines of like rivers of something, rivers of paradise, rivers of joy, something like that. Just because we have all these connecting rivers, it seems to make sense. Uh, and they all kind of separate different areas of the zoo. I think it'd be kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really would like to know your opinion on the situation. But anyway, uh, we have this new waterfall that's coming down right here. We're going to put a bridge over into the other area. And I'm using these bridges and these waterfalls really as just separators in the zoo. Uh, it makes it easy to distinguish between different areas when we have the water and bridges kind of separating those areas. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, we did it with Monkey Island. We kind of did it with the uh, desert area that we did. Now we do have a bridge over there into that area, but we also kind of just connected it up to the main area, which I think is fine as well. I uh, just because, I mean, I think it looks nice. That's what this all boils down to, uh, is does it look horrible? If the answer is yes, then I should probably redo it. If the answer is no, then it's probably okay. Uh, and I think that everything looks pretty okay here. So I did get a few comments uh, talking about what I should put 
in the rest of the zoo and we do still do still have a huge chunk of land uh to the left of the mountain that we can work with and do some cool stuff with so i've thought about it and it seems like a lot of people don't really want me to go the savannah safari route which i can actually completely understand and i don't think we are gonna do that i do that in like every zoo that i make is i make some big savannah safari type thing and i mainly do it because it's very easy you know you just throw in a bunch of animals from the savannah biome and you put them all in one spot put a couple cars through it and all of a sudden you have uh, a beautiful savannah safari type thing it's just kind of boring i would like to challenge myself a little bit more and do something a little bit more unique. Uh, challenging yourself is how you get better in life. Don't take the easy route just because it's easy. Take the hard route because it'll challenge you and you'll learn from it and grow. Uh, and the moral of this story is try to make yourself do weird things in Zoo Tycoon 2 to make yourself better as a person. I don't know. Seems fine to me. Uh, I'm getting better as a person just from making this zoo. Not really, but, you know, you get the point here. But anyway, we have this uh, weird wrap around going around around the back of the mountain we're gonna have some exhibits back there we're also gonna have a food court back there uh which we'll get the layout of later but i have been thinking about what i want to do with the rest of the zoo i think we're gonna put in a marine type area it's just not going to be a marine area like you may have seen in uh any other zoo tycoon 2 zoo we're gonna make it very natural uh try to we'll have some tanks just because you need tanks really for some of these animals but we're going to try to make it, uh, you know, with the unique twist that this zoo has had. So it's going to be a challenge for me. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, I don't work with the marine animals often uh, because, frankly, they're kind of a pain at times to take care of and do stuff with. So it'll be unique for me to go back to my roots and do marine animals, which I haven't done for probably like seven years, eight years, ten years, something stupid like that, uh, which, you know, It'll be fun. I, I'm excited for it. We just got to get this mountain done first. We may start working on the marine stuff in the next episode, or we might just do a finish up all this crap kind of episode, put in the exhibits here, do stuff like that. We'll see what happens. Uh, we got a lot of time to get this place done. If we're doing two episodes a week, uh, this place will be done in no time. I'm fairly certain of it. So we do have this weird uh, graphical glitch here, and you'll see shortly that I get part of it resolved but then it gets really funky with some other places the path goes up onto the mountain uh and it looks kind of strange and i really don't like it and i think that's because like they really didn't expect anybody to ever do something like this so the game isn't coded properly to handle these weird uh graphical glitches with the paths so i try to fix them it doesn't really work they don't want to flatten no matter what i get rid of they just don't want to flatten so we end up using uh, some rocks to cover up the path. It doesn't look great, uh, and the rocks kind of get in the way, but it's probably the best we're going to do to hide it. Uh, I'm not going to overly fret about this. This is the back corner of the zoo. Uh, if guests get really pissed off about there being a path, which they're not because the guests have zero uh, ability to understand scenery in this game, uh, then so be it. I, I'm kind of of the opinion it's not the end of the world. We try to cover it up with some rocks uh, and it looks good enough. Uh, it's just still a little funky. I'm not a huge fan. I would love it if we could get rid of that little glitch and have a happy-go-lucky time, but what you gonna do? I'm still fairly okay with it. It just looks a little weird like I'm using the rocks to cover up something, which is ironic because, you know, I am. So it makes sense here what you gonna do. So this is where we're going to put the food court. Uh, it's just going to be a very basic area. This might honestly be even bigger than what I end up doing for the actual food court. Uh, it might just be a small place to grab some snacks and view some animals. But what animals are we going to put back here? That's another question that I wanted to uh, talk about. Because if we're going with uh, trying to get as many types of animals in here as possible, I thought about doing just some boreal animals to keep with the theme of the... Uh, area and zoo or some alpine animals to keep with the area but i'm kind of of the opinion if you think of like a giant crag kind of mountain thing the top is going to be real cold and then the bottom's probably going to be like kind of dry maybe so i'm thinking maybe we put a scrub area behind here we don't have scrub anywhere else 
Uh, there really is nowhere else where we could feasibly put a scrub area. So I think we do that. Uh, that allows us to put in some cool animals, maybe some rhinos, maybe some elephants, uh, maybe some Komodo dragons or something like that. So let me know what you think about that. I think that it could be uh, pretty cool for the zoo to have a scrub area. But we'll see what happens. I'm just testing out sizes. I don't want it to be that these exhibits are too small for uh, certain animals. And I don't think they would be. I think they'd be good enough. Then again, we do have the space hack, so they're not going to complain anyway. But uh, it's still kind of important to me that they have reasonable amount of space in the zoo. So this is the final section of the video. Uh, this one may get a couple people angry. I don't know. I'm going to put in a giant sky tram in here. And the reasoning for that is we're not going to use it in the way that Zoo Tycoon means for the sky trams to be implemented, which is to view animals from them. But we're going to utilize it as a transportation method. We're going to have it go from over here over to uh, Monkey Island. And I think that that allows people to kind of get transported around the zoo, see a bunch of different areas. Uh, and it makes it you know, I like the view of the Sky Tram as you're walking through, you know, seeing it above you. It kind of gives off a cool vibe as you're walking through. Uh, most zoos that I've been to have some kind of Sky Tram or transportation system in them. So I kind of like the idea of having it here. Just makes it a little bit more realistic. Uh, and that's really what I'm going for here is realism. The one thing that is also very real is having an actual queue line for the Sky Tram, which is something that... Uh, really is not needed in Zoo Tycoon 2. It's kind of just a free-for-all whenever they come through uh, and get in line for it. So we're implementing the little queue line just to kind of uh, make it a little bit more real in all retrospect to the rest of the zoo. So I think it looks good. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Maybe you hate it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. It looks fine to me. Uh... It, it does look a little ugly when they have the lines going through, and we're going to be connecting those shortly uh, once we get the actual stations set up. But I think it's going to look fine in the end, uh, and that's all that really matters here, uh, is that it just looks okay in terms of our zoo. It'll just go over the river, as you can see here, and it looks fine. So that's kind of going to do it for this episode. Uh, it was actually pretty long for me to record. It took about an hour to record this footage. I sped it up. Uh, a fair amount here and cut a decent amount back out of it but if you enjoyed leave a like leave a comment subscribe let me know answers to the questions i asked down below i'll see you guys next time bye